Welcome back, uh, YouTube viewers, to another uh, Vintage Cube draft on Magic Online. The Vintage Cube leaves in uh, on, on the 15th. Today is the 13th. These are going to be backlogged for probably about five days, so you'll probably still be seeing these on YouTube, even though the Vintage Cube is down, because they're still I think they're still pretty fun to watch. Um, but no stipulations today. We're just taking the best card, which is nice, because we opened the best one, boy. Ring of the Sun. Sun Ring, if you will. Sun Ringu. Unfortunately, we have to do. We do have to pass a Gristle Brand. Yeah, I was looking at the Gristle Brand at first, but then I saw the Sun Ring, <laughs> which is Mike's favorite, I think. So, Alan Beg with twenty four months. Good lord, man! Two whole years. Any power? 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 Can I get some power? Can I get a power? 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 No, nothing. There's a worn power stone. That's. No, I ain't gonna do it. You know what? I didn't even realize Memory Jar was in the queue until I saw it yesterday. It's not that great. It's good in Storm, right? Sure. A lot of juice. It's too bad. You should get some before the stream starts. I thought I had enough. Is that wrong? Is it Tropical Island? Uh, I kind of like that. I kind of also like Power Stone. Yeah, the stipulation is best card in, best card in pack, Chris. I actually don't hate the Warren Power Stone. God, Trop is so good, though. I can see the Trop or that. Yeah, let's go with Power Stone, sure. And I like having uh, these two as our first and second picks because it keeps us open for big things. Hmm. A lot of uh, fast lands. Is that what they're called? Fast lands? Slow lands? I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. I, would, I think fast line could work. Blazing, but like a big kick. Fraley's? Is Fraley's better than Nahiri? I don't know. I just don't think it's a land. I Like, because this is just a toss up, right? Which of these Jun lands do we take? Uh, acoustic lands. <laughs> oh, man. Biovisionary. What's going on? I like Necromancy. Yeah, that's a good card. I think it's one of these three. I just don't know which. Necromancy. I don't like Caracas. No. I'm going to take Necromancy. Oh, oh. It's your boy. I think we're just taking Primeval Titan here. Yeah, I think it's a little better than Elspeth. I think it's probably the best Titan. So. Oh, we can hard cast the Gurmag Angler. All right, we're going to take the Primeval Titan. Now I wish I took Bribery. the Tropical Island. <laughs> I think Bribery is the best card in this pack by far. I th uh, Vampire Tutor is good, but I think Bribery is better. No, nah, Bribery is better. I would Vampire Tutor for Bribery. Oh my god, why are they like this? Owner of a lonely hunt. And now we get no, like, no green blue cards whatsoever. I would vampire to do for a bribery. Sure. Sure. It's, like. It always feels, it's real coincidental that we ended up in Sultai colors. Like, sometimes I wonder if it's, like, like super subconscious. Because I really had no intention of picking a black card, a blue card, and a green card. Like, that was in no way, shape, or form a goal of mine. But it ended up that way, which is kind of weird. What did you say? Force spike. Really? Or maybe just the demon. I like the demon. It's the strongest card. Plus, let's just go blue, black, or green, black. Yeah, I that think cat it's... just ate, man. He can't be hangry. No, he's not hungry. He's just a son of a Mitch. I actually... Now you're messing with the... A son of a Mitch! <laughs> I like Signet, but it's like... Weirdly off-color. I also like Painful Truths. Painful Truths is pretty meh. Is it just Signet? I like it. Me too. We can be Abzan. Yeah, I think it's just Signet. It goes with our other picks, I guess. I don't like growing rights that much. It's kind of hard to trigger. I agree with, I agree with you. What'd you say? 
No, that was a hiccup. I, I no, I know. I was making I was making fun. Pulse is a pulse. I almost like Sage better. Really? This guy kills the thing, but this guy kills all the things this guy kills, plus planeswalkers and creatures. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you crazy. But you get a two two out of it. A two one. Oh, it looks like a ballerina. Yes. That's a two two true. Ooh, I like Green Sun Zenith for Primeval Titan. Nothing else really in the pack, so I'm sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna take I'll take it over Fatal Push or like Fire Ace is okay. I don't actually hate this guy. But he hates you. I don't think that's true. You can't prove that. You're right. He doesn't talk. <laughs> he he does not have language. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse does not deal damage. Good point. Good point. A fair point, good sir. Wow. Wow. This card is very good in the queue, I think. Like, in all my experience, this card is very good. There's just a lot of artifacts and enchantments going around. All right, well, I'm going to make someone real sad, I guess. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Why do you like this? Also, oh, no. we don't have to be black either. We could just be blue still. We could be blue-green. We could just be Sultai, I guess. But we don't have a lot of fixing right now. We have fixing for white. <laughs> we have fixing once we hit six. I guess that's true. Primal Titan just fixes all. Primeval Titan better than all. I can't... If I get a piece of wood at Home Depot and I get it cut, I can't return that wood, can I? My assumption is no. Asking for a friend. I'm my friend. Oh, survival came back? Wow, that's really okay. Wow, that's really nice. That's a build around if I ever saw one. Yes, and I do not believe so. Those are two different things. You can just look it up. I can, but I figured if the chat now. Can I return cut wood to Home Depot? Wow, there you go. None of these answer my question. Returning wood. All right, let's see. All right, what do we got here? Anything good? Upheaval. This might be an upheaval deck, actually. Yeah. I can see that. Hunter, what are you doing? It, like, if we have an upheaval deck, I think this is it. What up, HUD? HUD? Hope you die, you die? Is that what that stands for? What's up, Avast? Fenodroidy? Droidy? Is this just upheaval, guys? I mean, like, we'd have to get rid of, like, one of the colors, though, right? Maybe not. I mean, we're not super committed to black, anyway. Like, I guess that's true. We could still like splash for Pulse. Card. I think upheaval is definitely the strongest card. I like Coercive Portal a lot, but I think it's... Nah, let's upheave. Like, I feel like this is an upheaval deck. <laughs> Hope you die, you dick. Nice. Okay. Got it. I do like Portal a lot. Let's go upheaval. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Cube ain't gonna be around forever. The biscuit but has been risk it. That's pretty good. The old treachery bribery deck. I like underground sea and Draga tree speaker, but I think treachery is a little. What if we? What if we treachery their their guy and then untap bribery their guy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's world. pretty baller. Yeah, we're just gonna take we're just gonna take treachery here. I'm also very bad with playing upheaval, but I think if there is a hey, look, it's a little bar of soap. If <laughs> like a little Irish spring, uh, if there is a deck for it, I think this is the upheaval deck. God, I really like Woodfall Primus. Like I'm, I, I like Woodfall Primus more, over soap more bar, than oh most. Boy. I think. Hopefully, it comes back because no on one likes color. green. Yeah, this is an on color signet, which is just 
phenomenal. You're not fully clean unless you're Simic fully clean. Oh, and we got the blue brain freeze in the sideboard that we can just play, so that's cool. Yeah, I mean, why not? Inkwell and... Sh yeah, there was Inkwell, Shouldered, and uh, Woodfall Primus in that pack, so maybe something comes back. Talarian Academy? Are we a Talarian Academy deck with two Signets, a Sol Ring, and a Power Stone? Sort of. Like, even with one artifact, it's still just a better than... An, or it's not better, but it's it's just an island at that point. I don't think we're an opposition deck. We just have two creatures right now. One of them we might not even play. I don't think we're a Shackles deck. You two taking Academy here. Could just be Lotus Cobra, too. I, could, I think Lotus Cobra is probably better than Academy. Like, we're always going to net one mana per turn off this guy, but... Yeah, we'll just go with Lotus Cover. And it's a creature. If we get swords, we can put... I have a real hard time passing this because I feel like it's always good. You can take that and help the uh, Through the Breach tables. I mean, someone's probably just going to give us a, a seventh pick channel, right? It's true. I mean, we're not really missing much on this back, like the sword, I guess, but I'm not really... Well, I'd rather take Thrag Tusk over sword. But even that, I don't, I'm not like thrilled about Thrag Tusk. I think I'm just going to take Emrakul because of the potential. Is, the upside is just way too high. Breeding Pool. I think that's exactly what we want. I like a Birds a lot, but I think I'd rather have the Breeding Pool, right? It's really close. It is really close, especially with Upheaval. We just have no fixing lands right now. I don't think it's Vraska here. I like Vraska a lot, but I think she's third behind these two. I think the pool's fine. Like, we already passed the Tropical Island, so we're not going to get another blue-green blue dual land. Overgrown Tomb's good. Also think it's the best pick in this pack. Yeah. Goyf is so awkward in this cube. I feel like Goyf is awkward in every cube. Like, I don't even think I have Goyf in our cube anymore, because it just doesn't make sense. It's just a strictly, like, constructed card, you know? It's like, yeah, he's like, oh, he's a 2-3 in, in cube. All right, cool. If you get lucky, maybe he's a 3-4. You're a 3-4. Maybe. Uh, bye -bye. What? What? It's pretty good with upheaval. Yeah, boy! Oh, sick. That is the sickest. Oh, people replay everything you had in your hand. Now if we get like a Corsair of Crufix, we can go Corsair Fastball and like land, 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 land. Which is utterly insane because you gain the life too. So you gain a life and lose life, so you just break even. Hissing Quagmire? Okay. Old Hissy Quizzy? Hissy Quizzy. Mm -hmm. Dr. Teeth is not in the cube. Which is fine. Yeah, these people have zero respect for green. I'm going to take Survival out. Oh, Botanical Sanctum? Okay. Okay. Is it better than Terastodon? Maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty good. We can green something for Terastodon, which is pretty cool. It answers a lot of things. We have a Survival in the sideboard, too. I don't really like Survival. Oh, we came back! Oh my god, these people are savages! Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, the double blue, we, we do have three double blue cards right now, so I, I do like the fixing option. Wow, Woodfall Primus, dude. This is like one of my favorite cards. It just kills... Shackles and Opposition came back? Interesting. I'm definitely taking the Opposition here, because we're definitely not a Shackles deck. However, we could be an Opposition deck with more creatures. Wow, every okay. card we were like, well, I want to take this instead, has come back. Utterly unbelievable, the amount of, of respect these people have for the green cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, X, 15. Okay. Why is the 15 after the X? Are they just like, well, you're never going to pay more than 15 for this, Probably so this not. is going to cost more. That's just a weird way to order things. 
Now we are a corpse dance deck. <laughs> What's the top creature? Emrakul? All right. There you go. No, it's, it's reverse. Not terrible. The Coalition Relic's pretty good. Yes, it is. Leovold's very good. So did you change your tune about Leovold in the last one? What do you mean? I don't know. You were all pooping on him. I wasn't pooping on him. I just like Eggdrick better than that one spot. Whatever, man. I'm sorry that I insulted your dad. Wow. You think it checks po highest possible target? That's interesting case. I think it is Relic. Even though I like Demonic Tutor a lot. Yeah, it's probably Relic. Over Tutor? Yeah. I think it's definitely this, this, or this. Evil deck we really want. It's also Jace Beller. Artifact Manas. Artifact Manias. Verdant Catacomb is also very good against all our colors. Colorist and Relic taps for any color. I think this pack is good. I just don't think it's fantastic. But there's definitely a lot of high high playables. Like this, 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 and this are all very good, I think. Kind of wish we had Academy now. I think it is Tudor. I think Tudor is stronger than Relic. Disagree. Really? Mm-hmm. You can tutor for a bribery. Snapcaster bribery. That's pretty good. I think that's our one target in the deck. Well, upheaval, I guess, but. Probably just search for tomorrow. I think it is just search for tomorrow. Or lightning greaves if you want to think we can get to 15 mana. <laughs> even if we get to, even if we just put on a prime evil titan, I think it's still pretty good. True. I do like Relic into Titan, but that is just a that is a two card combo that we might not draw very frequently. I, it might even be Metalworker at this point. We're just like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, nah. uh, we're definitely not casting the triple black ma massacre room in this deck. Like ever. Yeah, like never, never happening, never happening. Um, Vencer's good. Sure. Myst is Mystic Snake better? No, Vencer's just like. Strictly better, right? What? How strictly? Ven Mystic Snake counters the spell forever. Right, but Venture can also bounce threats, which is pretty relevant. Right, that's just a different ability, though. Like, if we need to get rid of their... If they cast the Muldrift, I don't want them to just recast it next time. However, Mystic Snake has a higher likelihood of coming back. True. Venture's so I think we take Venture here, and this Mystic Snake will 100% come back. Mark my words. 100%, huh? Oh, wow. Bayou. Ooh, Scarab God seems great, though. Scarab God has consistently impressed me in this cube. Yeah, it's pretty good. Especially because there's so many stronger targets, like a Primeval Titan or a Woodfall Primus, that you can just get out of their graveyard. I yeah, think I, I think like Scarab God better. We currently have no black cards with black fixing, so I might want to pick up something. Yeah, we have Coalition Relic, Orzov Signet, Search, Overgrown, and Quagmire already. So, yeah, Quagmire. I think Scarab God is, is, is very strong in this Are cube. Are we winning? I think so. That's a good one. That is a really good one. And there's this late Jitte. And there's Baleful Strix. I think it's just Mystic Confluence, though. Yeah, card's This card's insane. extremely strong. Oh, I like a Phantasmal Image. Yeah. Yeah. Key. I actually don't think it's Finhorn Elves. Like, we have a lot of, of ramp that's just because it's not one mana. I'm going to put these guys in the sideboard for now. Oh, yeah, we're definitely with Sol Ring, Fast Bond, Orzov, Signet, Simic Signet, Coalition, Relic, and Warm Power Stone. We're 100% in up people deck. Boston with Opposition is pretty good. Oh, and Garrick is pretty good for Opposition, in case you didn't know. Also, Imperial Seal. I think it's Garrick. I think Garrick is better than Seal by a large margin. My first time on Twitch is your fault. Twitch is making me jump through hoops just to type. Vain glorious. I do appreciate it, though. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I blame myself. What? It's a really late library. Well, this is the deck, I think. I like it. Yeah, I hope this Verdant Catacombs comes back, but I don't think it will. I think this is going to be our, our, our first pick. Well, I don't think we play opposition, actually. Oh, you're right. I actually didn't see that in there. I don't think this is an opposition deck. Lumbering Falls. Oh, the Lee of Old. Take the Vold. Yeah, I think it is Lee of Old. Lee of Old is very, very good. Need ways to win the game. Oh, there's Drag Test. We can play that. 
And now we had a Ferric Fist on the board. Yeah, I just put it in the sideboard because I think it's one of the weaker five drops. Like, out of Bribery, Treachery, Scarab God, Mystic Confluence, and Frailies, I think these are all stronger. I could see cutting Green Suns in it. Oh, it does search for Leovold, though. And Prime with Titan, and with Ball Primus. I think we keep it. Yeah, oh yeah, it seems great, especially with the ramp we have. It just gives us two copies of everything. Eh, rich cars, whatever. Rich car, oh god. <laughs> Every time you say that, it gets me, man. <laughs> Actually, maybe we just want Massacre Run for the sideboard. We'll just, we'll just. I mean, like with a Coalition Relic, we just cast this guy. I think it's better than Rich Car, so. We did not get any mocks, but we did get a soul. There he is. Like yeah, we right. said. I have to make a cut. Power Stone? Pow. Eh, what? Maybe not. That was our second pick, man. Doesn't mean we can't cut it. Well, it means it's too high on my... I can see cutting Orzhov Signet. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. I would rather cut Orzhov Signet than Power Stone. We didn't get any mocks, but we did get a, a Sol Ring, so... Which is the best Mox? The video should not have frozen, because we are still, uh... Still, we're still live, and we've dropped zero frames, so... Did you check your internet? Did you... Slap it a couple times? Maybe you're... Off and on? Did you, did you check your peasant internet? Slap on, slap off the internet. You get that? No. Okay. It was a clap on. It was a clapper. Remember the clapper? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like Manglehorn. Good cyborg. Good cyborg. We need one cut here. Or do we? We have Sol Ring, Fast Bond, Search. Signets. What are you saying right now? I'm saying we could get away with... 16? I like 17 because we have fast bond though. Why? Awakening Zone's good with upheaval, but Manglehorn's good with other creatures or other. Oh my god, you people are savages, dude. It's not even great for us, but. Isn't it though? No. Do we have creatures in our deck? Oh, we do. So it's great for us, actually. We have eight creatures. We have a Garrick and a Frailies, which are also creatures. Okay, so 10 creatures. And Treachery and Bribery, so 12 creatures. <laughs> Are we high enough yet? I think we are. That seems like enough. Hissing Quagmire. We can put it on that. We won't be hissing for long. Cut Search. Hmm. No I'll way. probably just cut Leovold. Do you have the power to do that? Let me see if that triggered Leovold. <laughs> oh, wow. I like that a lot. That's even playable for... What? Oh, my God. These last two are even super playable. All right. We'll just do 14 lands. I don't know about that. JK. <laughs> I did turn it off and it fixed it. If you turned your internet off and it fixed it, how are you even commenting right now? I think Leovold might be the cut, actually, because I don't know if we want black on turn three. We're cutting Leovold. We probably cut Bone Shredder too, right? Well, I think we're cutting Elvish Mystic, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not... I don't, I don't mind that. <sighs> I mean, it is mana, but... <laughs> Triggered! Oh, Bone, but Bone Shredder was ready! Maybe we'll keep Leovold. It's pretty hard to cast. That's my biggest concern. Like, we don't have black until, like, turn five, which is where... And Maelstrom Pulse isn't a, isn't a three drop, so... Keeping Leovald is super greedy. I think it is greedy. I really like him, though. Does that count? Like, as a human being? I don't think we need Bone Shredder, because we already have... Like, this is... A, our curve looks weird, but we also have Sol Ring, Worn Power Stone, and Simic Signet, and a bunch of, like, other ramps to get us to five, which I think... This deck looks real good. Cut me, don't be a Mitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, I feel like this deck is pretty greedy. Eh, maybe it's not actually. I don't know if I agree with cutting the Bone Shredder. We're pretty light on removal. You want to cut Elvish Mystic instead of Bone Shredder? Yeah, I like that better. You don't want Jitain here? Mm. I 
kind of do, but I do too. But it's I, it's whatever. I don't think we're I don't think we need it. All right, let's see what we're doing here. I mean, like we have three black cards, so like it's this one, this one, and Bone Shredder. All right, so we're heavy green. Are all our lands green? All four of these are green, which is great. So we have ten green sources, not including some Signet and Coalition Relic. Uh, two, four black sources, not including Coalition Relic, so five, which is fine. Five, six, seven. My nose is itching. I think this is actually perfect mana. I could see adding an island, but... I mean, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of blue. Okay, that's fine. Plus we have Lotus Cobra Search for Tomorrow. And Garrick adds two blue if we need it. Oh, we can green sun for Leovold. Dang, I like that a lot. I like that way more than I should. I agree with you. I think this is actually fine. I don't think we're missing out by having... Like, our deck has a lot of really strong cards here. I don't hate our sideboard either. Jitte's good in the sideboard. Manglehorn's good. Thragtusk is good. I mean, we can finagle so we can put this Massacre Worm in. If I keep rubbing my nose, it's because my nose itches, not because I'm picking it in some way. I thought you were just a cocaine addict. I told you not to talk about that on stream, bro. This Oops, hand is awkward. real terrible. I don't think it's that tempting. Okay. Perfect mana. Sounds real good. Unless it's a soul ring, I don't want it. Oh, I see. We're competing. I said no, sir. I don't want it. I say, I say, I say no, sir. I like this configuration. This Garrick ain't coming down soon, but... Well, maybe we got library into... Oh, I see. Well, here we go. Oh, I got a Garrick too. Oh. I don't like what's going on. <laughs> Not comfortable. That's a pretty good turn to... I mean, if we draw Sol Ring, we can Bone Shredder, which is actually yeah, pretty good. Turn two, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's it's better than a... Let's let's be real. It's better than a... Uh, I will donate 20 to put Leo in? Oh, God. I wish I saw that. That would have been sick. Oh, we got it. We got this. Guy's Cradle on a Man Land. That seems good. A Creature Land. Ooh, how fancy. Well, we can Bone Shredder next turn, which is nice, but I feel like the damage is done at that point. That's my opinion. Okay. Still still in the market for either, uh, for that Soul Ring, though. So we can Bone Shredder it and play I mean, Soul Ring. it could have been worse. It could have just, like... Oh, I see. All right. Well... It could have just, like, got a, uh, Progenis. <sighs> I mean, oh, we have no way to kill that now. Correct. I'm just gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna end our. Uh, 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 oh boy. Uh, 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 Too late. Now we lost. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we have no to that. boy. I kind of just want to bring Manglehorn in now. Yeah. Your deck is good. What gave it away? All of it. Was it the cards in it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? Well, let him keep showing us cards. All right. Maybe they move this. Maybe they do, actually. Maybe. Mm, maybe. They have no cards in hand, so. That's good. Ooh, that'll probably do it. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh. Ooh, if only we had enough mana, huh? Oh, in two turns, though. We'll be dead. I think we're dead in one turn, actually. We're dead. We're probably dead next turn, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're dead this turn, I'm pretty sure. Like, we can go block here. We take 8, 9, 10. And they just activate this guy. Yeah, that was a, that was a game, all right. That was a game. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in old Manglyhorn. Take out... Hmm. Phantasmal image would have been... Take out Search. Phantasmal image would have been good there, too. I 
I guess that is what happens when you cut Leovold. We had a perfect mana, too. Leovold was like, put me in the game, coach. Yeah, he would have been great there. That's what I always say. Are these hands for real? 17 lands and this is what we're getting? Sure. Try that Try that stuff again. I dare you. I double dare you. I mean, if it involves a sword again, we're still, like, dead, so... I mean, we can still copy it. I prefer he didn't do that. You don't like copying? You don't like copying Primeval Titan with Phantasm Image? I do, but not when it has a sword. Why not? Because then we die. But then we still get millions of lands. Ooh, that's not great here. The old fast spawn play only one land. <laughs> A classic. This is where they kill it, and we're like, well, our people's strategy hath died. I don't think that's true. I don't think you're true. Look at all these tiny nerds, man. Where's my massacre room when you need it? Toxic deluge for one. Well. This is not a lot of... I'm really tempted to just phantasmal image one of these dudes. Don't hate that idea. Right, it's real awkward. But then they go Primeval Titan next turn. No, I guess they can't do that. Because if we hit a land, we can keep up uh, Mystic Confluence, which is really what I want to want to be doing with my life. I can't. It has to be a blue land, though. Oh, this is this is a Bird of Paradise. Oh yeah. Taps for or taps for blue, bro. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. This is where they play Psalm Simulacrum. Oh my god, my nose is unbelievably itchy right now. I don't even know what that. I don't know even know how to fix that. Oh, the old tap oh, one. Two moxes in his deck. That's good. <laughs> the old double off color mox deck. Well, they they had f six mana here, so they could have played Primeval Titan, which is nice to know they don't have it. Sure. So they have one card left in the hand. Oh, that's very good. All right, now we're talking. So hopefully this is where they spend a bunch of mana for their bomb and we counter it. And draw two cards. Yeah, let's do that. All right, two mana, four mana, six mana, five mana, six mana, seven mana, eight mana, nine mana, ten mana. <sighs> I mean, we get to counter it, which is nice, but. That is nice. Counter target spell unless I pay three, which they don't have. Then draw two. Next time, look at the white square above your icon at the number of land drops available to you. What does that mean? Sure. You got it. Take three. One, two, Lotus Cobra, land. That's nothing. It does nothing. <laughs> you want to use this? Nah, I'm good. God, this deck seemed great, dude. But now we're getting wrecked. Draw another bomb. Oh my god. <sighs> really? It turns out my last two cards were Ulamog Natural Auto. Who knew? Ha 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 It's a pretty good draw. I mean, the funny thing is, like, if we kept Phantasm Image, we'd be able to copy this guy, but then we wouldn't because they would still have an Ulamog in play, so. Does it say 2001 land plays remaining? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Hold on. <laughs> wow, I like that they put an arbitrary limit on there. Yeah. 
Yeah, no blocks. Give me a land that comes into play on tap so I can I can primeval titan. Oh boy. Oh, you're just gonna kill my guy. That's cool. Yep, must be nice. Oh, well, dead on board. Dead on reality. 2001 <laughs> land plays remaining. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, definitely saving that bad boy. All right. Well, this was the opposite of a fun game. Uh, I still think our deck is very good. Apparently not. Wow. What? This is so sad. Also, it's funny because like, if we played 16 lands, we'd hit like four land drops every game. We'd, we'd never miss a land drop. Once you play 17, it's like, oh, getting a little greedy, huh? There he is. There's old Luke with the blue eyed Tron jokes. I don't know if, if if Iron Chef Sammy's deal still applies if it's if it's between games, right? I'll put an I'll put a I'll put a Leovold in for twenty bones. That's an easy that's an easy Leovold. Oh Iron Chef Sammy actually went to bed, so probably not happening. No twin go for you. All right, let's play first. If oh. someone else would like to donate for us to put it in, sure. Be the lucky chosen to <laughs> donate. I don't know if there's. I don't Be know the if there's. Lucky chosen. Okay, my mistake. I, I feel like we have a really good green deck, but every other green deck is just a little bit more aggressive than us, and I don't understand it. A little it. bit more, a little bit more. I mean, we do get to warn Power Stone, I guess, which is like playing two elves. All right, that's unimpressive. You okay, man? I feel like you're going to explode. I might. That's unfortunate. You don't know. Maybe I want to explode. Well, okay. That's fair, I guess. I hadn't considered your feelings. Yeah. We can green sun zenith for... Prime time. I give 20 if you put a skirt in the deck? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. What would that mean? You know what a skirt is? But how are we putting deck? he meant on me but I'd made a joke oh. you can't put it in the deck that was the joke that's the joke so next turn we can just Mystic Snake whatever they play and then Green Sun Primeval Titan next turn we didn't draft Dorks but we drafted Fast Bond Soul Ring uh, Signet Power Stone That's too much mana. You can ever have this. Oh, you're just going to do something else. Oh, that's good. Well, isn't that... Sp I'm just going to block that guy. I trade with you. Put a bird on it. I can put a bird on it. I can do that. We can make it happen. We could also wait a turn and then... Uh, no, we're going to do this. I was going to say we can Woodfall Primus next turn. Nah, man. Yeah, do that. Let's get an old Quaggy and a Tumorino. That's old Quaggy. A car skirt? I don't even know what that is. What's even going on right now? I think that's one of those things you put over your car. Discard Noble Hierarch. What are you going to get? Woodfall Primus of your own? T Terastodon? What kind of broken card are you going to get to destroy us with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We could upheaval next turn. Float 3.
Actually, upheaval next turn, floating three, and playing a worn power stone seems pretty good. Dragonlord Dramoka. Okay, that doesn't do anything. And we don't have to attack with Primeval Titan either, which is good. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana, so we float three. And then we play a land, so we have four mana. And then we can play Worn Power Stone and Suspend Search. That seems really good. That seems really good, actually. I guess we don't need a black for anything, so I might as well just... We want green in the pool. Power Stone, Sanctum. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Pitch an Islander, Forest. Eh, probably one of each. That was it. That was a good one. You play Scarab God. Well, not next turn. If we draw Soul Ring, we can. That'd be sick, right? That's not a Soul Ring at all. Well, next turn our search is going to untap, so we can actually just play Prime Time. Seems good. So we know they have Signet. They're probably going to play Signet now. We also know they have Forest, Forest. Oh, they discarded two Forests, so I assume they have at least one Forest in hand. Signet, Dramoka, Wake. We know those are there. We have one, two, three, four blue sources. One, two, three, four green sources. Just get a green, I guess. Doesn't matter. Well, that's pretty solid. I think we can wait a turn, though. Yeah, I think we just tighten here. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty pretty far ahead. Man, upheaval is pretty good when you can ramp like an extra four mana above your opponent. Discard carry added. Get a Rafellos. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We have nine mana now. Let's get some more. How about that? Oh, I would love to use the ability. Um, just get a mountain and a, an island. Sure. Doesn't matter. All right. Can we keep... I think we go Relic, just keep Mystic Confluence up. Yeah, I like that. And then that gives us a mana to um, play Scarab God and eat whatever they counter. Or uh, eat whatever they play. Did I say Mountain? Did I say Mountain Island? Good lord. Well, <laughs> apparently I did, because all of you guys are commenting on it, sure. Did you catch me? You didn't even catch me say mountain, I guess. Catch me outside. How about that? Okay. <laughs> God. Is it a Dramoka? Are they just playing Dramoka? Sure. No, we definitely... Well, what? It can't be countered. It's oh. literally part of its ability. I did not know. It says it right on there. It says can't be countered. And it says it in blue while it's on the stack. I actually feel like we just draw three here because we want to hit, like, uh, treachery or bribery. Sure. We just play this as like Jace's uh Oh we can't cast spells during their turn. Oh god, that's so bad. Should have responded. Yeah, you're right. It literally says it on the No, well I guess that'll do. Where's your mocha's their best creature though? Um, I feel like it's not. One, two.
Let's see what you got. Wall of Roots, Rex Sage, Master, Mana Gorger, Emrakul. <laughs> She's good. Deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't do both. Well, we can't play spells on their turn, so. Oh, God, you're right. So let's just play Scarab God. Our one man away, too. Do we have an attack here? They gain five, but we get two lands. Is that worth it? Yeah, I think we get one land. I think we're out of lands, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? I think so. Two in the how many in the bin? Two in the bin. Maybe we have two left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have three left. Okay. I think we just get him to clear it out. Like that's fine. I don't care about your five life. I'd rather just get two lands. And have like significantly less chances to draw lands. Like we have one land in our deck, which is just great now. Yeah, we can. We'll definitely bounce both their guys next turn. Um, that's definitely on the agenda. Did they not gain? Did they not? Did they gain five? Yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they went to from fourteen to nineteen. Sure. Willamog. That doesn't kill us, right? Uh, we do have a 13-13 blocker. Okay, so I guess we're good. Oh, also, yeah, this is real good, because like, no matter which one we block, 9-11. Confirmed. 9-11 <laughs> confirmed. Can I block this? Yeah, why can't I? Well, what? I don't understand. I just and get to eat this guy, life. and we get to... But... I mean, do you really need 9 life that badly? Oh, all right. Did they not realize that Emrakul could block? Maybe they didn't know I had float. Do, do people just not know Emrakul is flying? Only one mountain left in the deck. Well, that would have been good. Yeah, we could copy the crater hoof. Or the Emrakul. No, that wouldn't work. Don't listen to me. It would work. It just wouldn't work out very well. That's not. That does not do what you think it does. Does anything come in? I don't think so. I feel like Jitte is real good against all their small idiots. Some idiots. Or was that game one? I don't even know what's going on. No, they didn't have that many idiots, right? They just played Rafelos and like... 7-Eleven confirmed it was a part-time job. <laughs> My roommate went mono black um, and just put islands in his deck to bluff counter spells and throw people off. That's actually a great idea. Because even if you're playing a monocolor deck, you usually don't need more than two or three of that of that land. You're not playing more than two spells a turn. And at most, your spells are going to be double black, double black. So if it's turn six and you have four swamps, two islands, like it's usually not going to affect your mana base at all. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Do you just bring in opposition? No. Really? Taps down Emrakul and Jamoka and all those things? Man, we have like two creatures. Yeah, both of which, yeah, and they can tap down Emrakul and Jamoka. <laughs> 9 plus 11 equals 20. Andrew Jackson on the 20. He probably didn't want 9-11 to happen. <laughs> Andrew Jackson dislikes, uh, oh, this hand's good, but. Oh, this is actually second turn Coalition Relic. Oh, I'm, I'm down to clown until I'm dead in the ground. Oh, yeah, you search for tomorrow, buddy. Oh, that was incorrect. What? Why would you play his Quagmire there? Because it comes in play tapped? Sure. But now, next turn, I guess we could still play Relic next turn. Yeah, we do play Relic next turn. One, two, three, and then we play Quagmire. Well, Quagmire comes to play tapped. All right, one, two, three, Relic, Quagmire. What's I don't understand what you're trying to say. I was just going to do the same thing as if they start with the Quagmire and the next turn play the Relic. Okay, so we have Quagmire, then we go Island, we tap Island for Soul Ring, and then we tap Soul Ring and Quagmire for... So we still end up with two lands and a Soul Ring tapped yeah, and it, untapped it, it, Coalition Basically, Yeah, it works target. the same way. Yeah. 
Or we can actually not play this. We can go so Coalition Relic Sylvan Library, which I think is actually better. And next time we can Treachery. Yeah, that seems good. Whoa, take it easy, knees. That's your... No, 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 knees, that... knees, knees. <laughs> oh. The weather went from 62 to 10 in two days and you got four inches of snow. That's unbelievable. Gosh. Oof. Oh, that's a... That's a... That's a spicy boy. Can we go one, two, green, green, play gar... Do I just keep both of these? No, well. Hold on, one, two. No, we wouldn't have enough mana though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? No, we would, right? One, two, three, four. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster this has been. We we have a green right here. Yeah, I don't like that. I like oh, hold on, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. We play with six. We play for four. So we have two left over. We untap two. It wouldn't work, right? We have to play Soul Ring, Coalition Relic, and Forest. It leaves us with two islands. Garrett can untap one of the forests, which leaves us with three mana. So there's Maybe no way. Shy. What we could do is play Garrick and keep Venser up. One, two, three, four. No. This doesn't work. They're both four mana. It doesn't work. We'll be shy by one. One shy, shy. Hush, hush. I do I. Uh, we'll put you on top. And then we'll put you on top. All right, we'll just play Quaggy. Because now we get to keep up Mystic Snake and Venser. And next time we can just play Garrick. I don't like that. That is definitely a no, sir. Because that's going to that's gonna turn your whole life into a thing. It's going to turn your whole life into a thing. Attack me. It's a one, two. Attack me. I won't block. I promise. I didn't, I didn't mean that I will block. Oh. Primal Titan. Oh, girl. See, now we're just going to peep both, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to three, untap two. Oof. Look at all that. Look at all them cards I just drew. So now we go one, two, three, four. Schmarrick. Yeah, if you want to. The race is on, gentlemen. The race is on. We just paid a life to draw two cards. I'm down. I want to counter your Jamoka. I can't. I can venture it, though. Oh, you're going to pay X for something. What's going on here? Ooh. Mm. No, I'm just going to do this. Uh, Draw two. Counter one. Cast. You're the spell. One, two, three, four, five. I always feel like Mystic Confluence should be triple blue, but I don't want it to be. So that's how I feel. Ah. Give me something good that's not crappy. That's not it. I don't know why you do that. Why do we have no creatures in any graveyards right now? I like artifacts helping artifacts. That's pretty nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Nah, ain't got no reason to take down the Venser shields yet. Has anyone ever pointed out how much you look like Wolfman Jack? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Is that good? Wow, really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something. No, right. man, it's, it's striking resemblance. We're just going to keep doing things that disrupt whatever you're doing. How's that sound? Is 
See, I think our deck is great. Charge it up. If you play a creature, I'll, I'll play this. If you put a creature in the graveyard, I'll play this. You have survival. Discard your primeval titan to get like an elvish mystic or something. Oh, God. Brutal. Brutso toots. I guess we get a black here. Hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> not, not that one. There are literally no creatures in graveyards. Let's tap some lands and we can kill them next turn. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, fine. I'll do that. Whatever. I'm pretty sure we kill them next turn even if we don't ultimate but I want to ultimate <laughs> okay I don't actually care about survival I actually want them to get a creature so I can play treachery oh so much for that I guess oh god yeah I was gonna I forgot I was gonna I don't want to do it but I was gonna do it because you said you wanted to so I was like alright I'll humor you I mean it and then I like forgot guarantees it sure I hope you negative three and draw. <laughs> they didn't. Dang it. All right, let's look at this Wolfman Jack picture. Oh my God, really, guys? The coloring in the beard, I guess. Yeah, it's just the hair color. I think the white and the the black, but I don't think in the face or in. I don't even think we like we don't have similar hair, so it's very. Just get yourself an updo. I'll updo you. Hmm. Oh, here's another one, man. Okay, that's I can see that a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, don't pulse the beast. <laughs> Solid strat. I can treachery it and just win, I think. They block here, they take one, two, three, five, six, and nine, ten. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Can I have this? Oh, they just... They're okay. We didn't even get to untap our things. All right. So, 2 0 yeah, 2 That's because you don't put effort into growing out a rad lion mane. You're right. I... I, I do not put effort into doing that. God, my strong construer is still out of date. That's so annoying. I wish it wasn't. Think this is a keep? Yeah, I like this hand. It's slow, but it puts us right into the these two. So, I guess not right into those. Two. What are you laughing at over here? Has anyone told you you don't look like my real dad? No one has told me that, but I imagine that's true. Did they just skip their? Did they just F six their turn? They totally did F6 their turn. Well, I guess we play first. Has anyone told you where Mama is? Oh my god. Is she in the kitchen making onions? No, she's with onions. She's not making them. You can't... Only God can make onions, Michael. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Really? Who else can make onions? You ever heard of a farmer? They don't make the onion. They plant it and then it grows from the seed. Yeah, that's making the onion. They don't. They didn't play another land. What's going on right now? Now they played a land. Maybe what the hell is them. happening? Maybe they just kept a really bad hand. Do they just keep no land? They just went to six, kept no land, and they're like, "I'll stay." It makes sense if they played a one drop here, but they didn't. So I don't know what's going on. I have no idea, dude. What kind of sigs did Mike Dad pick? We don't know yet. He hasn't gotten back. We're still waiting. <laughs> Patiently. <laughs> it's, it's taking him years, but he'll, he'll be here eventually. Oh. All right, they don't have another land, so we're just going to play Fraley's here. I guess we're going to keep the blue up so we can we can bluff the force spike. Oh, yeah. Good. I don't know why you wouldn't mull to five, though. Like, you mull to six, and you're like, no lands? I got this. You can't milk onions, only almonds. I oh, I see. Oh, I see. You ex you I yeah, that's fine. 
It's mine now. It is mine now. You got it. Make sure to overtap. Did I did I, did I overtap? No, do it so you can untap them. Am I gonna play something else? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just gonna untap three and keep Venser up. Actually, there's no reason not to just play this first tapped and then untap that, so. Create a little elf, man. Should I Maelstrom Pulse their, their mocks? That's pretty cool. They sit down and milk the almonds. It's in the name. <laughs> oh, they squeeze the female almonds udders. Oh, boy. Well, that was a, that was a bold strategy with the reanimation there, buddy, but... It's very bold. It's not going to do. Maybe you don't. Maybe I don't what? I don't know. I'm to take out the Bone Shredder and bring in the Mangle, mangle Horn. <laughs> you, you, you get that, Mox. I would have floated and pulsed, Mox. My name is Avast Games 51. Oh, Necromancy does seem good. Dang. Sideboarding is hard, man. Oh, this hand is iffy. Do we mulligan this? Yes. This seems better. I don't want See that six prime drop. Boy. Who wins? A reanimation deck or one prime boy? <laughs> Why is that meme so funny? Oh, look, you're playing things on turn one now, huh? Tortola preserved. Hey, I got a little jingle. Oh, there we go. This Manglehorn's already proven his worth. I was really hoping it was going to be a soul ring. Tortola preserve us. Where, why did you say that? Why not? Well, I'm, I'm not saying why not. I'm not saying there's no reason to say it. I'm just wondering why you did. That was my reason. That, what was? Tortola preserves us. That's not... <laughs> It's not a reason. That's what you said. I just want Tortola to preserve us, okay? Okay, okay don't be Blightsteel or Sundering Titan. Oh, it's Blightsteel. That's good. I, uh... Isn't it always? Governor? Fencer Soul Ring. Neither of those are what we're looking for. And we're dead. No, we can... We got a block. Do we? Yeah, we play Manglehorn and just block it. We go to nine poison. Okay. It's not great. Mm-hmm. You might as well pay four life for both of them. Yeah, gotta dig. I agree. Gotcha. Oh, but we didn't get you. <laughs> I'm going to say yes just in case. Why not? Who wins? A ramp deck or one blight boy? The blight boy. Oh, we kill our thing. All right. Fun and interactive magic. The oh, we, oh, see, we would actually hit Phantasmal Image, which is pretty sick. Yeah, that would block. Like, we could have went Garrick, untap, untap, Phantasmal Image. That would have been good. This is why I like opposition. Does it like you back? Michael? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God. <laughs> what is that, your Muttley? Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you you have that ready in the tank. Well, I mean, there's very few characters who sound like Muttley, dude. Old Muttley. I don't think that's Scarab God. I think it's too slow here. I mean, it's kind of good, but... I'm going to bring in Opo. I'll take. A, I'll bring in Mystic for, for uh, Search for Morrow. Because that's another gentleman. 
Sure. Sure. Wow. Is this how you're going to be? That's true. If we do get 11 counters on Jitte, we can kill the Blightsteel with it. Ooh, that's good. I actually don't hate this hand because of Cobra and Mystic. Cobra! I, we drew Sol Ring, I think, once. Cobra. Oh, the days. Cobra! Co also, if we draw a land, we can Manglehorn their Mox this turn, which is great. If you draft a Sol Ring and you don't ever hit it, is it like you truly drafted it at all? My name is Jeff. Shut up, Jeff. Wow. Land. Oh, why would it be? How's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, wow. Mox Ancestral Tinker Deck. Woo! <sighs> oh, crying out loud. Dang, it feels good to be a gangster. Here comes the Tinker. You ready? And then we just don't hit our third land. Land Tinker. Here it comes. Oh, just chart a course. That's boring. So you drew five cards. Was well, it enough? I mean, they got to discard one. They gotta discard more than one. They're just gonna go Lotus Tinker. <laughs> you ready? Ooh, they, dis they discarded Gristlebrand. Oh god, where's our Necromancy when we need it? I guess we have Phantasm, which is just pretty baller. Can we get a land? Thank crying out loud. I think we just Manglehorn and kill their mocks. Right? Yeah, we have to, right? There's nothing else we can play here. We can't play Fraley's, right? We're shy by one. Yeah, we're too shy shy. Hush, hush, I know why. Oh, yeah, get that damage in there. Got him. He's basically dead. Remember when we didn't know what our opponent was doing, and they were like, oh, I just missed two land drops after Mulligan goes six, and then we're like, oh, you're just reanimating. Oh, we got a Massacre Worm in the graveyard, too. That's pretty scary. So long, board. Take six. Can't deal with Masquerum. That's how we died. Masquerum is surprisingly brutal in this cube if you're able to uh, reanimate it. Exhum. Or do you just get Gristlebrand? You always get Gristlebrand. Bribery seems great in this matchup if we're able to uh, actually cast it. Island. Blue mana. He still hasn't had a reanimation spell yet, which means he probably doesn't have one. Or... He has... I'm listening. The five mana one. Um, I'm barrel rights. Yeah, well, he does have a white, a white source, so... Fingers crossed, I guess. One, two, three. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Oh, I did it wrong because I can't tap Swamp. There we go. I, I forgot. Okay, now I can Umbero rights my Mask Worm. Yeah. <laughs> to the surprise of no one. No, that's pretty good. You think so? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow, who saw that coming? Perfect. I mean, not ideal, but especially when the Amber writes Crystal Brand and we don't have an answer for that. Sure. Wow. I can't believe this draft went the way it did. This deck seemed great. It's like, I, I we actually, it's funny because we regularly get mana screwed and we play 15 or 16 lands. It's only when we play 17 lands that we literally get mana screwed. Yeah, it seems to be a theme. It's it seems really strange. I can't believe our opponent didn't on barrel rights there. That is a little weird. Well, we're dead anyway, but they probably just keep counterspell up to. Yep. All right. Well, the old one two. Unfortunately, that deck was sweet, but not good enough, I guess. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time, I guess.